Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Ripnika and you have reached Natural Vibration. This is Aquarius is love reading for July. So I am back in town. I was traveling. So if, but I am back. So if you are interested in booking a private reading, I am accepting those now. My turnaround time is just two to three days. So um, you can log on to my website. All details are listed in the description box below, naturalvibrations.in. Or you can email me and I'll give you all the details and we can go ahead and do that. So how are you guys doing? I hope you guys had a good June. I had a good June. Also, if you guys like my, ch my videos, it would be great if you could please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can hit the bell icon that will notify you when a new video is online. So that would be the best way. All right. So let's ask what's in t what's happening for Aquarius love life in the month of July. Can't believe it's July. Wow. Okay. You've got the same card that came for Librans. Interesting. Embrace. What do you have to embrace Aquarius? So I'm going to get some more clarity. The Libra's got two cards for that. So with yours, let's get some more clarity. It is also the card 11. It could be twin flame. Are you, do you have to embrace a connection? Do you have to embrace a particular person? What do you have to embrace? Do you have to embrace love? Do you have to embrace love in your life? Accept love. Accept that you deserve the love that you want. Embrace your own self. Is it that you feel that you don't deserve love? And maybe it's time this July to embrace yourself. Embrace your true self. Good, bad, ugly, who cares? None of us are perfect. But you cannot be happy. You cannot get that happily ever after till you truly love yourself. Things to think about, Aquarius. Let's get some more clarity. Aquarius love life. Healing family issues. Interesting. Unrequited love. Yep, I feel you gotta embrace somebody that you haven't been embracing. What else? New love. I'm laughing because um, my twin is Aquarius, so I hope this works. <laughs> anyway, what I'm getting is, first off, let's start with, can you see all of that? Yeah. <clears throat> Aquarius, I feel there have been certain family situations in your life. Maybe there are things from childhood that have made you not embrace who you are. In simple terms, they have messed with your self-esteem. They've messed with your self-worth. And they make you feel like you're not worthy of love. And you feel a part, maybe there is somebody you want, a particular person. Maybe there's nobody in your mind and you just don't feel you'll ever get love. Maybe you have somebody and you're not happy. The point is, none of that matters till you can love and accept yourself. If you can't accept yourself, you will always feel that nobody, that you're not good enough, that you're not good enough to get, to have, give somebody the kind of life that they want. You will never feel like you can love somebody the way they're meant to be loved. You, you feel, you will feel like you're never going to get that happily ever after. And this has something to do with your childhood. This has something to do with wounds which you haven't healed from your childhood. That's what you have to embrace. You have got to embrace yourself. There is no such thing as unrequited love because we are all connected and we are all energies. If it's meant to be, if it's the right thing for you, it can happen. But you have to allow it. And because you've got the new love card, 
I am getting that new love can happen. And this could be an old relationship where a new spark comes into being. This could be a new person altogether. This could be a revival in an existing relationship. But love can come in only if you heal whatever it is that screwed you up in the first place. Maybe you can't forgive your family. Maybe you can. What you can do is love yourself with the good, with the bad, with the ugly. I am not perfect. I have made so many mistakes. But if I don't love myself, why would anybody else? Even if you are the worst person, hey, I'm going to give a very horrible example because I was in Auschwitz right now, so I, you know, I don't mean any um, insult by it, but even Hitler had love. I'm just saying. You, nothing you could have done could have been that bad that you don't deserve love, that you are not worthy of love. Something to, big to think about. So Aquarius, I feel, month of July is you coming to terms with self-love. It's you coming to terms with whatever happened in your family, in your childhood, growing up, in last previous relationships that have made you feel that you cannot get the love that you deserve, that you are not enough, that you are not worthy. Embrace yourself. There is nothing you could have done. There's nothing you could have ever done that makes you feel, that warrants you not getting the true love. So let's get some more messages for Aquarius love life July we had yang and I think it was reversed yang is about giving you haven't been giving let's get some more fates what else? now yeah regeneration okay for some of you, now, I understand everybody watching this aren't all in a twin flame dynamic, okay? For some of you, for some of you, there is a, this could also be a soulmate, all right? But for some of you, there is a relationship which is fated, which is aligned by the stars, as they say. All relationships are aligned by the stars, but there is a particular relationship which is destined to happen. But because the giving card was upside down, this is telling me maybe you have not been giving to it. You have not been sh giving the love that this relationship needs for it to grow, for this, it to have this new love, for it to regenerate. Because you don't feel you are worthy enough for it. That's what I'm getting for some of you. This doesn't have to be a twin flame situation. I'm just saying. For some of you. Again, these are general. Please take what resonates. I'm getting that you have not been giving. Allowing yourself to show love. To show affection. To give any energy to a relationship. Which is destined for you. Which is aligned by the universe. Which the universe is shoving in your face. Literally. Which, because you don't feel you're worthy. It says, you may think there's not enough attraction there, but that's not the case. Because you're not really embracing it. You're not embracing this relationship because you're not embracing yourself. Everybody is you pushed out. Every, okay, energy. We all came from a single freaking atom. We, the Big Bang, Adam and Eve, whatever you want to believe in. We're all connected. Quantum entanglement theory. If you haven't seen my law of attraction video, please check it out. Everything that I feel affects people around me. We are all connected. So if you don't truly embrace yourself, Aquarius, that's why you feel you're never going to get this love. But guess what? That has to do with your family stuff. It doesn't actually have anything to do with this relationship. It has to do with your self-confidence, your self-worth that got screwed up 
growing up and you can't you know it's not about fault and blame shit happens everybody's i had this issue as well but you have stopped you have got to turn this card this way you've got to start giving to this relationship if you don't give you will never get if you don't try it's like you cannot win at a game you're not even playing if you want to win if you want to get what you want you have to at least play you have to at least try you're not even trying because you don't think you're worthy enough and the universe is saying that this relationship is fated this is what you were born to be in this is the relationship you were meant to be in and you have regeneration and new love which means you can get this love you can get that spark back you can have this relationship if you want you can have a new love in your life you can have a revitalization in this relationship but you have to start embracing who you are admit that you fucked up if you did excuse my language it's no big deal we all do it you still deserve love you do that's what july is all about so let's get you one advice card from the light worker deck Because you are a light worker. We all are. Advice for Aquarius. The cards were upside down, sorry. For July. Too many cards. Too much advice. Aquarius, July. birthing a new age birthing new creation birthing a new world into being do you see what you have gotten you have got a new new revitalization birth things are changing whether you want to or not because guess what the universe has plans for you either you can help the universe and allow this to happen easily by accepting yourself and by doing you know making the effort and you know giving this relationship a chance giving the situation a chance whatever it is or you can fight against it eventually it'll still happen it'll just take longer and you're just going to like be push and pull this is your advice birth new creations birthing a new world into being things have not been easy for you I know that. But that doesn't mean you can't change it. Your life doesn't have to be the same way it has been all this while. You have the power to change relationships, change how you feel about yourself, change the kind of people who come into your life, change the kind of love happily ever after you want. You can give birth to this right now. In the month of July. all you have to do is figure out ask yourself when was the first time i was made to feel like i wasn't good enough just ask yourself that question first time in my life when did i first feel unloved when did i first feel like i wasn't good enough in my life the instance that comes up work on releasing that work on healing that It's time for you to embrace this love. It's time for you to embrace who you're meant to be. That's what July is all about. I hope this was helpful. I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye.